What is going on guys? Welcome to your 57th UDK tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys about something called matinee. Now matinee is basically the UDK's animation program. Now I'm going to be doing things a little bit unorthodox for me. I usually show you guys the program and you know give you guys the pieces of it and tell you guys how it works but I'm going to be doing something a little bit different like I said I'm going to be building a simple program using matinee and demonstrating how matinee works and then once you guys get a good idea of what exactly matinee is and how it can be used I'm going to be going through the pieces so it's definitely a better way of learning matinee so let me go ahead and do that right now so what I'm going to be doing is I already have this map open remember this is the map I taught you guys how to use static meshes on and what I'm going to be doing is adding a door right in front of here. Now whenever our user walks over the bridge, it's going to open that door and, I don't know, maybe close it later on. I haven't decided yet. I really don't plan out my tutorials. So let me go ahead and open my content browser. And I'm going to go ahead and clear everything out and look for static meshes. I'm just going to go ahead and look for a door and find kind of a square one. I guess I'll use this one right here. So go ahead and right click and make sure it's fully loaded just like me which it is and go ahead and select it right there and we're going to want to be bringing this in as an interp actor so go ahead and right click and hit add interp actor right there so it looks pretty good I just want to position actually the first thing I want to do is grow this so maybe 1.5 not quite big enough so 1.65 alright that looks pretty good so alright so that blocks our player sufficiently so now all I want to do is center this bad boy right here and that looks centered and also maybe bring it out just a hair so let me go ahead and push this forward oops grab the wrong thing there Haas let me go ahead and push that forward okay so that looks pretty good right there that door position so eventually like I said what I want to be doing is having our user walk over this bridge and once they hit a checkpoint on this bridge I'm going to be sliding this door down just like that however I'm not going to be doing it right here in my perspective view I'm actually going to be doing it in a program called matinee so let me go ahead and do that right now let me position my camera a little better and ooh, that's some good position and you can see a statue in the background and everything so the very first thing we need to do is add a trigger on this bridge so whenever our user clicks this trigger it knows to send a message to this door so in case you guys forgot how to add triggers you go ahead and right click where you want to add it and we want to add an actor and add a trigger so right now the radius is a little bit small so I'm gonna go ahead and move that to the center and if I hit F4 I bring up my properties for this and under collision under collision radius just go ahead and change this to like 100 or something like that and now you can see I have a huge collision radius and actually my collision height might as well change that to 100 too just so you know they can't hop over the trigger or anything so now check it out whenever my user walks across this bit bridge they're gonna hit this trigger and then that's gonna send a message to this gate eventually saying hey gate you need to do something so now let's go ahead and start programming this shiz in kismet so we can go ahead and X out of this and select your trigger right here and open kismet and what we want to do is with our trigger selected make sure it's selected right there go ahead and right click and hit new event using trigger and we can just make a touch so whenever they bump into that trigger in any kind of way it's gonna send a message out through here this touch but what exactly is the message that we want to send well what we want to do is we want to create an animation of the skate sliding down and remember I said animation is basically called a matinee in the UDK so go ahead and you're gonna to wanna to select new matinee this pretty much is like a little movie that's gonna play so the first thing I want to do is actually position this right there and I wanna say alright whenever I touch my trigger I want to play my animation or play my matinee so it says alright 
So Bucky, you made this game as an awesome game. Whenever they touch this trigger on the bridge, you want to play a movie. But what the heck am I supposed to play? Am I supposed to move this light up and down? Am I supposed to rotate this bridge? Am I supposed to, you know, flip this panel upside down? I don't know what movie you want me to play. So in order to give it that information, what we need to do is this. Go ahead and double click matinee. And then we got this huge beast that opens up. So again, like I said, I'm not going to be talking guys through the pieces in this tutorial. I'm just going to be giving you guys a real quick demonstration of how matinee works. And actually, I think I'm going to be doing that in the next tutorial so my video file doesn't get too big. So in the next tutorial, that's what you have to look forward to. So for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys then.